Hello there, YouTubers. I am making a short video for a guy by the name of Jimmy Richardson. Jimmy sent me a comment on the, my YouTube of my thoughts about Pastor Arnold Murray. And his, his comment was, Okay, people. I've been studying with Pastor Murray for about 18 years. But when I saw him pull that gun, and I'm not against guns at all, I was ashamed. And at that moment, he did not have the Holy Spirit in his heart. I argue. This, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what that word is, uh, worship of these people is crazy. If you disagree, please email me. He was like a tyrant of old, not Moses. Okay. So, to, to that, uh, Jimmy, I'll say, <coughs> You know, I myself uh, personally have some disagreements with some of the things that Pastor Arnold Murray teaches. And as probably stated in uh, the video that you were watching that you sent us comment on. And I pretty much uh, let you know uh, kind of where I stood on, on that. Now, as far as uh, uh, the gun issue, I did see the video some years back. And for those who didn't see the video, or don't know the video we're talking about, uh, Pastor Murray was in the middle of a teaching uh, in his uh, church. And if I remember, somebody stood up and started questioning something that the old man was teaching. And, and uh, Pastor Murray at that point uh, was uh, conversing back and forth with a gentleman. And when the gentleman, you know, my impression was, the guy started to uh, sound a little, uh, uh, what would be the right word, uh, agitated or uh, uh, too headstrong. And, you know, and then the old man had uh, mentioned that he had a gun. And, uh, and then he may have gone on, I don't really remember the footage, uh, he may have gone on to actually pull the gun out. I don't remember if he pointed the gun or, or anything like that, but I do know for a fact he, he did let the guy know he had a gun. Now, as far as not having the Holy Spirit in him at that time, you know, to that I gotta say, you know, whoopty shit, big deal. This, the Holy Spirit guaranteed to be in any of us at any given time. No, it's not. Are we blessed when the Holy Spirit comes on us and, and we are filled with that Holy Spirit? Sure. Is the teacher held accountable to be in that state more so than anybody else? No, he's not. So was he at fault uh, because of the gun instance? Probably not. I mean, the guy was in his church, was in the old man's church. And the guy knew what the old man believed in what he taught. Because obviously he saw the old man on the TV. That's why he went there to confront the old man. So, you know, the guy kind of put himself at odds with the old man, which means he made first uh, first move of aggression on the old man merely by standing up and disagreeing with him at the old man's pulpit. I mean, uh, usually if a person goes to a church, he goes there for what they're serving because we're talking about a spiritual food. Yeah, same uh, thing if you go to a Sonic, it makes no sense to sit there bitching about the Sonic burger if you don't like them. If that's where you went to be fed. So and if, if people is going to the Pastor Murray's, uh, the Shepherd Chapel Church, then it, you should uh, at least be respectful of the fact that it's their house and it's their roof. Just if, if somebody comes into your house and started disagreeing with you, naturally you should know it's going to put that house owner on edge. And also in the old man's defense, we also have to realize that there are a lot of people out there that are also toting guns and go up into a church and start out very much by standing up, letting their whereabouts be known, and then start an argumentation. The next thing you know, they pull out their gun and start killing preachers and parishioners of a church and so forth. And I'm sure the old man has seen that happen on video and on the news several times. I'm sure that was in the back of his mind. And I, to me, the impression that I got that the old man was merely a... Uh, 
letting the guy know that it would not be as a slaughter of a sheep if that was the dude's intent. If the dude's intent was to stand up in that church and do harm, uh, basically I think it was uh, the old man letting him know that, hey, there's going to be some shooting back if you come up here and you pull out a gun. Now, how does the old man know that that guy has a gun or not? He doesn't. How does that dude know the old man had a gun or not? He didn't. But I will say this, since that video, pretty much most people that will go in that church uh, uh, that are, are, are looking at the things that are negative about Pastor Murray on the Internet, they will see that video and they do know that he carries his own gun, which could save his life. It could also save the life of other people in that church. Because, you know, one guy that may go into a church and pull a gun on somebody uh, that's unarmed, he may not be so prone to do that same thing if he knows that there are arms in that church. Uh, is it good practice for people to pull guns on people as a warning? Uh, <clears throat> not really. It's dangerous. A lot of times it escalates things to a level that it would not go at some, had nobody pulled a gun in the first place. But, you know, that being said, I think the old man had a... Uh, a responsibility as well as a right to uh, to defend himself, uh, uh, as in uh, in in what I said. Uh, basically, what I just said was he did not know if that guy was armed or not, or if it was going to escalate to there to a confrontation or not. And by the old man showing or letting know that he had that gun, um, at least it uh, it put that guy on where that. Uh, that there, it wasn't going to be as easy as he might think if the guy was thinking about doing some harm. So, you know, all that being said, uh, should we judge Pastor Murray because he didn't have the Holy Spirit of God in him at that moment? And even that might be an unfair statement because we don't know if it was the Spirit of God that, that made that happen or not. Uh, it could have been the Spirit of God that, um, that made that whole episode happen that could keep somebody out of there that has a gun and wants to do harm against that church. We don't know. Uh, we do know that uh, it's, it's not good practice to pull guns and, and threaten people if you don't have to, but we're not knowing the circumstances. Uh, I think it's kind of a, uh, I think you expect a bit too much of him, man, to, to expect him to just, uh, you know, uh, be all of accepting and, and not show any teeth when that guy was standing up, interrupting a, a sermon, a teaching. And, you know, I think we expect too much of our teachers. <clears throat> and, you know, I think that's why the, 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 the man worship comes in that I talked about in the first video. You know, really, I don't have a whole lot of problems with the old man himself. I, what I do have problems with is the way a lot of people look, tend to look on him as a father. And not so much as a brother. I mean, it's understandable that the guy's old. He's he's the dad that everybody wants to have. He, he's firm. He's fair. And then, uh, you know, so it, it's an easy way to see how people tend to look too much on to him. But to say that, you know, he didn't have the spirit of God in him uh, at that moment, and that would that justify, you know, changing your perception about Pastor Murray? Probably not. Uh, I think there are a lot of reasons that we, if, you, if, if any of us as a people look on Pastor Murray as something more than a brother and a teacher, then naturally we have reason to change our perceptions that we have of him because we're looking into him too deep. We're looking into him for a salvation and not just a teacher, which is probably, you know, one of the biggest mistakes that society makes today with any and all teachers. Uh, you know, you can take Pastor Murray out of the picture, but uh, as us as a whole, as a society, when we we look at teachers and start learning from them, we tend to start looking at those teachers as something other than what they are. So anyway, I just wanted to make that uh, that uh, a little video on, on what I thought about that, because when you said that in your comment about him pulling the gun, I got the impression that that was the thing that started to turn you from what he may have been teaching. And, and I don't think that's a fair, uh, uh, I don't think that's a, a fair, uh, you know, what would be the right word? Um, well, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't think that would be a fair action uh, to judge the man on that, uh, the behalf of that incident. When, uh, you know, the guy could have very well been on edge. You know, he could have saw something in the man's eyes that, that put him on edge. We don't know nothing about it. 
Anyway, it'd be fun to see that video if, uh, you know, if anybody had it on YouTube to put it out and we can kind of uh, learn from it uh, what we can. Uh, we learn a lot of other things from the old man. Uh, you know, I still look at him from time to time. I studied with him for seven years and basically I don't really study with him too much anymore because he's, he, 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 um, he's uh, teaching the same things over and over because he can go to a certain level and that's as high as he can go on the airways and I understand that. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this video, man, uh, and, and give a shout out to you and thank you for the comment. And uh, don't think that I'm I'm, uh, I'm kicking or fussing, but I just wanted to share with you my views on, on what you had said as well as you shared with me. Okay, guys, I appreciate your comment, and thank you.